everybody, my name is Jenna and today I am taking you through my full and complete physical TBR. Now at the time of filming this, it is the 28th of April 2020 and I don't yet know when this video is going to go up so this may not be complete because I may have acquired some books since then and I may have read some books since then but this is my complete physical TBR as at the 28th of April 2020. Now there are a lot of books on this TBR so we're going to be doing this sort of in sections because I don't want to get all of the books off of my bookshelf all at once. So we're just going to jump right in because there are a lot of them. These books are also in no particular order and I'm not going to be telling you a lot about each one because I think there are over a hundred books on this physical TBR so you know we'd be here for a while. So I have Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I also have Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I've read Illuminae and I just never continued on with the series but I have been meaning to. I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the Six of Crows duology. I have not read the Grisha trilogy. I have not read the Six of Crows duology, but I've been meaning to and I need to because I want to read them before Shadow on Bone, the TV show, comes out. Because let's be real, the TV show, we've not seen any footage, but just from the fact that Ben Barnes is in it alone, we know it's going to be good. And it's Netflix, and Netflix, they tend to do fairly well. Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brenner, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Weissman. This is the stories of Simon, I think, after the the events of the Mortal Instrument series. Have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is the Cinderella retelling. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Tower of Dawn, all by Sarah J Mass. At some point, Kingdom of Ash is also going to join this, but I mean, I have a lot of books in this series to catch up on, so I don't see me getting to Kingdom of Ash anytime soon. Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman, The Outliers by Kimberly McCree, Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend, First Life by Gina Showalter, Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray, Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout, Vigil by Angela Slatter, Bound by Alan Baxter, Hindsight by Melanie Casey, Nixia by Scott Rington, The Bang Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson. <laughs> Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows, both by Cassandra Clare. Yeah, and I assume at some point I will also collect Queen of Air and Darkness, which I should do soon so I can get it in the same big format, because otherwise I'll get it in the little one and that will just make me sad. Who's Afraid 2 by Maria Lewis. Frostblood by Eli Blake. A Game of Thrones. A Clash of Kings. A Storm of Swords Part 1 and 2, which are stupidly big considering they're a Part 1 and 2. Like, that's a nasty book on its own. And A Feast for Crows. All by George R. R. Martin. And eventually, I'll get the other books too, but I think there's what, only one more to go that's actually out. Cruel Queen, Glass Sword, and King's Cage, all by Victoria Aveyard. Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. The Stone House by A.K. Benedict. What She Does Next Will Astound You by James Goss. Hollow City and The Library of Souls, both by Ransom Riggs. Return to the Isle of the Lost by Melissa Dela Cruz. Foundling by D.M. Cornish. 2312 by Kim Stanley Robinson. Under the Dome by Stephen King, which is a shockingly large book with string on it. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. And now we're going to run on over to my second bookshelf where the rest of my TBR books are. Hello and welcome to my second bookshelf. So the first two books I have Cry of the Ice Monk by Stuart Hill and Aurora by Kim Stanley Robinson. These books are technically still on my physical TBR but I'm umming and ahhing about maybe unhauling them so I'm not really sure whether I will get to them but they, for the moment they are still on my physical TBR. The Wicker Light by Mary Watson. The First Third by Will Kostakis. Alice by Christina Henry, The Last Witch by Andres Sipkowski, Yellow by Megan Jacobson, Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, The Wailing Woman by Maria Lewis, Telephy by Wanda Wiltshire, This Mortal Coil by Emily Savada, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, The Secret Runners of New York by Matthew Riley, Captive Prince by C.S. Picat, Ironheart by Jodie McAllister, The Sidekicks by Will Kostakis, Misery by Stephen King, I Had Such Friends by Meg Gatlin Vaness, Alex Approximately by Jem Bennett, Artemis Fowl and the Eternity Co by Owen Colfer, Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk, Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviathan, The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, Other World, Other Earth, and Other Life, all by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller. Order of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Cell by Stephen King, Artemis Fowl and the Time Paradox by Owen Colfer, Black by Fleur Ferris, Lost Boy by Christina Henry, Spellcaster by Claudia Gray, Elegy by Jane Abbott, Miss Rule by Jodie McAllister, Blood Kissed by Kerry Arthur, Frankie by Siobhan Plaza, Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Christo, A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland, Call It What You Want by Bridget Kemmerer, We Are Blood and Thunder by Kisa Lupo, Furyborn by Claire Legrand, Never Night by Jay Kristoff, Mission Queen by Alex James, 
The Summon Stone by Ian Irvine. The M Word by Brian Conahan. The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I own a lot of Claudia Gray books and yet haven't read a single one, so I see a trend happening here. Warcross by Marie Lu. Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. The Doctor Who 50th Anniversary Collection by a lot of authors. City of Light by Carrie Arthur. Defy the Worlds by Claudia Gray. Reawaken by Colleen Hook. The Witch Who Caught a Death by Marie Lewis. The Fall of Five and The Revenge of Seven, both by Pitticus Law. The Painted Man by Peter V. Brett. Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerall. The Vanishing Stare and The Hand on the Wall, both by Maureen Johnson. And then last but certainly not least, Steampunk, a anthology with lots of authors. Of course, I'd leave this one till last. And there you have it. That was my entire physical TBR as of today, April 28th, 2020. I don't even know how many books that is, but it's a ridiculous amount. And I am determined for the last like four years that I've had this booktube channel. At the end of every year, my goal has been get your physical TBR under 100 books. And for some reason, I just can't do it. So this year is the year that I'm going to get my TBR down to under 100 books. It's going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section below how many books you have on your physical TBR and what your goal is to get it down to by the end of the year because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random! Bye!